Right, this is the um, charging circuit for transistors now that I've completed and it's uh, charging this um, lead acid battery um, and this is the charge circuit here these two probes uh, and these two connect and this is the um, the source coming from the solar panel at the top uh, of the roof so uh, yep just uh, now I'll just measure the input voltage So I was just connecting those probes there on the input and it's reading 17.38 volts um, and that's uh, the input connected to the circuitry So and I'll connect now the charge part of the circuit which is this here and it's reading 11.36 now this battery isn't the best uh, and I'm just trying to condition it now um, with this particular charger and it's doing well actually it's um, I'm sort of restoring it back to hopefully to the way it was anyway um, this is a scope shot and it's showing on the this is taken, I've just taken this before, um, 166 volts, and it's almost purely like a DC output um, coming from, if I disconnect that, uh, the charging part, which is this here, um, yeah, that's what it reads on the scope. Now, if I just connect, disconnect one of these terminals, you'll see these neon bulbs, which I have here, will light up. So I'm just going to undo one of the the leads. Disconnect it. And you'll see them. You'll hear a, a hum, but there's the neon bulbs lighting up quite brightly. And this, uh, those neon bulbs are connected across the transistor and the collector and the emitter of the transistors. And that's what's being fed basically into the charge battery. So I'll just connect it back. 